Hey YouTube, this is Jebebei Jebebei, and today I will teach you how to record your iPhone 4S, iPad 2, and iPad 3 screen for free using only a MacBook Pro, and also the software is free, and, and you do not need to jailbreak your any iDevice. You do not need to jailbreak anything. So, let me just first um, teach you how to do it. I will put the download link in the description. It is a torrent, so you will have to download that. It's not illegal, though, just how the file is shared. I'll put a link there. So, let's get started. So, after you download it, just open it. And, let's put that back in full screen. So, once you download it, just um, go on your iPhone or iPad. Let me just, I'll show you on both, actually. Let me just get my iPad back up. Okay, so once you turn your iPhone and iPad on, make sure that you're on the same Wi-Fi as your home network. So as you see, I'm on Wi-Fi here and Wi-Fi here. If you're on 3G, this will not work and you will not see the options, okay? Once you're on the same Wi-Fi and you know you're on an iPhone 4S, iPad 2, or iPad 3, double tap on the home screen on the iPhone swipe twice on the iPad probably gonna have to swipe once then you're going to see a um, over here you're gonna see this button over here it's not gonna be blue it's gonna actually be gray you're gonna tap on that select your map book and then select mirroring on I'm not gonna show you that because my name is there that's what my Mac is named after but you just kinda wanna tap it and it's, it's really obvious just tap it you're gonna see what, whatever you named your computer tap that and do mirror on once you do that, it should turn blue and you're set to go. And as you can see, I'm actually able to um, display two iDevices at once. I have not tried any other iPads or whatever. Um, so I can't <clears throat> tell you if three work, but at least two work very well simultaneously. So I'm going to first um, give you a quick demo and I'll teach you how to record it for free. So this isn't meant really to play games on it's more meant to go on Google let's say so say I want to go to Google right now it's really good to type and do presentations I can actually put it in landscape right now and it actually does it automatically same thing with my iPad I could put it in landscape I wonder how that will fit really shrink stuff but um it works out well and say that um um you only have one iPad or one iPhone whatever obviously it will enlarge the uh physical <clears throat> like physical iPhone or iPad screen on there <coughs> So I'm just gonna like show you um, the relay, let's say, the delay. So I open a camera right now, my iPhone. So it takes a second for it to get um, leveled out and everything. But once it's open, it's actually really smooth. Like there is a slight delay, but it, it's really smooth. Um, it's good quality and it rotates and everything I could change my it's literally just like I am recording from my iPhone okay so just to show you the delay I'll just show you quickly if I were to swipe right now the mic stands up alright it's gonna fall So as you can see, it wasn't that bad of a delay, and also put in a um, member that there is a delay between the camera and the computer screen since it is wireless. So let me just show you a quick game, and then I'll show you how to record it. So let's say I want to do a game Ski Ball, wherever that is. It, it takes a couple seconds for it just to get adjusted to 
game and everything. So it might be choppy the first minute or so. And then it, re it really does uh, level up. Let me see if I can close this. So I'm going to actually exit full screen and just put um, it on my iPad so you get, get it a uh, larger. One second. So I'm going to actually turn off um, AirPlay on my Mac. Uh, I'm a uh, whatever. I can't do it from here. So anyway, um, let's go back and full screen. So once you have the game open, I gave it a minute. Yeah, there we go. So I gave it a minute. It's not working out. <laughs> um, and as you see, it's actually pretty damn smooth. It's not that um, glitchy. It's not choppy whatsoever. I just don't recommend big games, I'm not playing to get a high score. Um, this will not work with big 3D flying games as well as this. It's, it's really meant for presentations, pictures, Googles, etc. So if you want to learn how to record this, it's really simple. Since this works on a Mac, every Mac comes equipped with this program called QuickTime Player. I already talked about this in another video. So all you have to do is just type in QUI or the whole thing, click on it. And then you should see QuickTime Player on the top left. It will not open anything. You're going to have to click File, New Screen Recording. Then just you're going to want to select your microphone quality. I just do high for HD. And you're going to want to probably save it to your desktop or movie folder. Then click Record, and it records your whole screen. To stop, just click the Stop button. You're not going to be able to see it when recording. I'm recording, but I'm moving it around right now. They actually made it so you don't see this in videos. Because they get annoying and then just stop stops it and then you got an HD video and this is what I use in all my tutorials on my Mac um so I hope you enjoy it guys please go to rate comment subscribe and if you have any questions feel free to comment them or send me a personal message and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible thanks for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed